I've gone over an entire book's worth of entities and creatures on this channel. It's what I do. I have like 200 videos specifically about internet horror creatures. But in this video, I'm going to be going over an entity that genuinely is horrifying. From its concept, to its design, to its effects, to its biology, this is a horrifying deity. The entity in question is known as the Wandering Faith and it's the most famous giant that Trevor Henderson himself has ever made. This video is gonna be amazing, I hope you enjoy it. Without further ado, let's hop into the explanation of the Wandering Faith, and let's see exactly what's up with this creature. The Wandering Faith is a gargantuan, four-legged entity that has been seen across small towns in the world. The creature has four legs and two different joints in each leg, which causes them to splay out kinda of like a tripod on the ground. For how large the entity is, they have a very spindly and skinny appearance, but they are very, very tall, and the upper portion of their body usually is hidden behind clouds. You can see the bones protruding on these entities as well as the leathery black skin just from the ground. The feet of the entity have never really been seen up close, but it's assumed they're just like sticks or like elephant feet simply because of how big it is. Whatever the feet are, they have to be large enough to hold up the entity. The entity's estimated height is over one and a half kilometers or just about a mile in height, but we can't really tell for sure because we can really only see the legs. The head and the neck portion stick straight up through the sky, and that's because of its very strange behavior that it does, which I'll get into in a second. Underneath the entity's long neck and chest area are these very skinny, tendril-like apparatuses. These tendril vine things stick down very far, in some cases even dragging the ground. Behaviors and Origins the Wandering Faith is just one entity on the huge list of giants that Trevor Henderson has created. I'll probably go over all the giants at some point on this channel and probably make a massive compilation. Let me know if you want that. But this is probably the most famous giant that I've gone over and probably will go over. And I think it's mainly the most popular because of its unique behaviors. You see, the one goal, the one objective that the Wandering Faith has is to collect human souls and ascend those humans to the afterlife, to heaven. The entity seemingly chooses humans that it deems worthy enough to be granted the gift of heaven, and it drags them up through its long tendrils off its neck, up through its body, through its neck into the heavens above. Those tendrils that hang down from its neck reach around like infinitely sprawling fingers and they grab the humans. Whether they're old, whether they're sick, whether they're just completely healthy, this entity decides if they get sent up to heaven or not. Please pick me, please pick me. The origin story and how this entity came to be is very unknown, it's very murky. We really don't have any idea. But it seems to be a very, very old, very ancient creature that has ties to life and death. Its entire existence is sort of as a collection giant. It just collects and harvests these souls, and it does so seemingly out of neutrality. It's not outrightly aggressive. It doesn't stomp on people, it doesn't attack people. It does this because it thinks that it's doing the right thing. It thinks that it's ascending the correct people up to heaven, which it might be. We don't know. Even though its size and weight, you know, make it very destructive because it does destroy things when it walks, it doesn't outright attack individuals or attack things. The entity does, however, appear during bad omens. So if it's a bad storm, if it's a tornado, a thunderstorm, this is when the entity will most likely appear as it hides behind the cloud cover that these storms give. Usually you can see one through the rain, through the thunderstorms and tornadoes and earthquakes and that sort of thing. Any bad weather event, you might see a wandering face. It has been noted though that these entities do not really venture into cities. They mainly stay in the expanses of emptiness and small towns across the world. Seeing a wandering faith is a very weird, deep experience. It's as if you're staring into the face of death, because it's likely if you see it, you're going to be chosen, unless you're from really far away. But that whatever the case may be. Even though the people that get chosen by this entity are going to heaven, you know, a good thing is happening to them, it's still terrifying to think that this entity scours the world on these giant legs, kind of like fingers walking around the earth, finding people that it thinks goes to heaven. 
and just ending them right there. It's just a horrifying thing to look at. I mean, that's scary, man. No one really knows what the top of the entity looks like because it's hidden behind the clouds. So this leaves it open for speculation on what physical form it takes. Some people say it looks like a hand walking around. Some people say it's a giant spider. Some people say it's some kind of sauropod, like octopus, sky octopus thing. I don't know what it is. It looks creepy though. Some people also disagree with its main objective of sending people to heaven. They say that it actually just consumes them, but this is pretty much disputed by everybody that has seen it or that knows anything about it. The entity has this sheer cosmic horror eldritch type vibe to it. You know, it only appears during these times of bad things happening, these storms, but it's contrasted by sending people to, to heaven. And that seems like a good thing during a bad thing. It's almost like it's a silver lining of some sorts. The entity in pop culture has been popularized through Gmod games, and it goes under the name Day17 on there, which Trevor Henderson himself has said that that's not its name, it's The Wandering Faith, which he's tweeted about multiple times, you're seeing screenshots right now, but I think the name Wandering Faith fits perfectly. This massive eldritch horror walking the expanse of Earth, picking and choosing humans that it thinks are worthy enough. No one knows where it came from, no one knows where it goes, but everyone knows that it's here. And if you see the wandering faith, if you just look up and see it, you might be next. The majority of the creatures that I go over here on the channel, they're flesh and they're blood. They behave almost animalistically. They don't really have a conscience. And if they do, it's typically to do evil things. This creature, the wandering faith, it is fully ethereal. It is not this mindless entity and creature that just runs around without a goal. As I've discussed in this video, its entire purpose is to connect the heavens to the earth and to send people that it deems worthy up to the heaven. But it's even more than that. The entity is kind of a symbol. It's sort of an omen, an omen and a beacon of death and decay. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, what do you do if you encounter the wandering faith entity? How do you survive it? How do you not get taken to heaven? Don't worry, because I'm going to tell you. If you see the wandering faith creature walking around, the first thing you should do is just get inside and lay down away from any windows. That way, if a window's open, one of the tendrils on the creature can't come in and get you. It's unknown if the entity is deterred by houses or if it still tries to get inside the house to retrieve the people to send to heaven, but the likelihood is a house being between you and the entity is more protection and just better than having nothing. Try to make as little noise as you can as well, and if you're in a car and you're driving and you see the creature, just drive the exact opposite way of wherever you see it from, that way you're definitely not going to be next. I've said in the video multiple times that the entity is not outright deadly, it's not malicious, it's not malevolent, but since it is an omen, since it is a bad thing technically, you should still avoid it at all costs. Very few people have encountered the entity by accident because usually the creature knows exactly what it's doing and it funnels the people to heaven that it wants to be seen by and it's very unlikely that if you witness it that you'll make it out alive but if you do the things I said just stay indoors stay down and try to get away as fast as possible if you're in a car you should survive Thank you for watching the video. If you did enjoy it and you want more in this style and this kind of vibe, leave a like. Let me know if you want it. I would be glad to do so. I love doing the face cam stuff. I feel like it's more connection. I don't know. Some, some, some connection, some, some. I'm not sure. But if you do enjoy it, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you want more Trevor Henderson creatures. I love Trevor Henderson and his work. I absolutely adore the creatures and I love covering them. So I hope you do. And uh, with all that said, I'm going to end off the video here. If you want more uh, content from me, check out Toogly, check out Spoogly, uh, check out my Twitter and Instagram if you somehow want even more of me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.